James Webb just discovered something older than the universe. This is not clickbait. This is a real scientific paradox. In 2022, the James Webb Space Telescope observed one of the earliest recorded galaxies. This object existed only 300 million years after the Big Bang. Yet it didn't look primitive, chaotic, or formless. It was massive. It had structure. It was populated with stars. According to modern cosmology, this galaxy shouldn't exist. The age of the universe is estimated at 13.8 billion years. But what Webb saw might challenge the foundation of that number. And if it's true, there are only three possible explanations. The Big Bang timeline is wrong. Our physics is incomplete. Or time itself doesn't work the way we think. To understand the scale of this discovery, you need to know what James Webb is. Launched in December 2021, the James Webb Space Telescope is the most powerful space observatory in human history. Unlike Hubble, which saw mostly invisible light, Webb observes the universe in the infrared. Why is that important? Because light from the early universe stretches, it reddens, as the universe expands. Ancient light becomes infrared. Webb can literally look into the past. It's a time machine. And just months after it began observing, it broke the very theory it was built to confirm. Jade's was just the beginning. Then scientists found sears and glass. They all existed in the first 400 million years after the Big Bang, and all appeared to be over-evolved. These weren't tiny, random clusters. Some had masses comparable to the Milky Way. Others already contained mature stars and even cosmic dust, which appears after the death of many generations of stars. One of the lead researchers said, We expected to find tiny, chaotic galaxies. We found giants. It's not just unexpected. It's impossible under current theory. How is this even possible? Scientists have proposed three main hypotheses. The first is that stars in the early universe may have formed much faster than we think. Gravity may have collected matter more efficiently. And the conditions in the young universe favored the rapid growth of galaxies. Two, we got the Big Bang chronology wrong. If the expansion rate of the universe was different, or if we're misunderstanding inflation, then these galaxies could have arisen later than we think. Third, and most radical, what if time itself works differently? Perhaps in the extreme conditions of the early universe. Time flowed differently, or even branched out. Some physicists have suggested that time is not a fundamental thing, not the background against which everything happens, but a consequence of deeper processes. These aren't just strange numbers. These galaxies threaten the entire cosmological model. They call in to question everything. Dark matter, dark energy, and even our understanding of gravity at the quantum level. If our model is wrong, then maybe we don't understand at all how the structure of the universe came into being. Or maybe there was no beginning in the usual sense. If that's the case, we're living in a reality that's much older and stranger than anything that current theories describe. Now imagine, what if the Big Bang is not the beginning, but just a stage? Some scientists propose a rebound model. The universe shrinks and then expands again. Others say we live in a bubble, inside a multiverse. And maybe these ancient galaxies are this echo, light from a past version of the universe. Think about it. The most advanced telescope created by human hands looked into the past and maybe saw before time all the way back to the beginning. Perhaps the wrong question is, how old is the universe? Maybe the right question is, what is time? James Webb showed us a light that should not have existed. And by doing so, he opened a new frontier, not only in astronomy, but in understanding reality itself.